Hi loves, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. And today I am bringing you this colorful cut crease look. I really hope you all enjoy it. If you do, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and please remember to subscribe if you are not subscribed already. So as always, I'm gonna start by priming my eyes with my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Toffee. I'm gonna to blend that out with an e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush and then I'm gonna set that with my Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. So to start off, I'm going to go in with the Sokoto color from the Juvia's Lace Hair and Palette. I'm going to pick that up on a Morphe E27 brush and I'm going to blend that all through my crease and my transition. Once I have most of the color deposited, I'm going to go ahead and flick what's left on the brush towards the tail of my brow bone so that it swoops down and then it curves upwards. Next, I'm going in with the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Eyeshadow Palette. Now, this palette doesn't have a ton of transition colors, at least none that would really work really well for my skin tone, which is why I went in with the Saharan Palette to use that warm tone color. I love to go in with a warm tone in my crease to kick things off. So now I'm going to go in with the color Coco Truffle from the Too Faced Palette on a Morphe M514 brush, and I'm just going to use that to blend out the tops of that eyeshadow just to diffuse it a little bit and to make it a little bit more seamless. Next, I'm gonna go in with my super small detail brush and the decadent color from that Too Faced palette, that is the black shadow. And I'm gonna use it to outline my crease. And as always, I'm gonna place that crease line slightly higher than my natural crease so that it's still visible even when I'm looking straight ahead. I'm blending this line out a little bit with that same brush, just very lightly. Then I'm going to go in with a Morphe M506 brush and just further diffuse that black line. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of that black color just to further intensify the crease area and add a little bit more dimension. And then I'm going back in with that Morphe M506 brush to further blend out that line. I'm gonna go back in with the Sokoto color from the Saharan palette on that same Morphe E27 brush and just blend over everything to make sure that it's nice and seamless and just super blended. And this is also gonna bring a little bit more warmth into the look. And it's gonna make the black not so harsh. And then like always, whatever's left, we're just going to flick it out towards the tail of our brow bone. So next I'm gonna carve out my lid using that same LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Toffee and a flat brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the Too Faced Chocolate Gold Palette and I'm gonna pick up the chocolate gold color on a flat brush and I'm gonna place that in my inner eye corner only. Oh, this palette smells amazing. It smells like chocolate and it also tastes like chocolate. Don't ask me how I know. And you'll notice that I carved my lid out, especially in this inner eye portion, a little bit different. I made it a little bit more exaggerated. This is a good step if you wanna really open up your eyes and just have them look bigger and wider. Now on a different flat brush, I'm gonna pick up the new money color and I'm gonna pack that all over the center of my lid. This is a nice pink kind of shimmery color. I'm just gonna lay that all over the center. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of classy and sassy just to lighten it up a little bit. I'm also gonna lay that over the center of the eye and blend it into the chocolate gold color. So it's a little bit more seamless. And then for the outermost third of my eye, I'm gonna go in with the Living Lavish color. And of course, I'm ombreing it into the other pink color on the lid so that everything just blends in really nice and smoothly into one another. You'll notice I'm kind of leaving that concealer right at the base of that crease bare, and that's because we're gonna do something with that here in a second. 
Now I'm gonna go in with this super small detail brush. This came from a nail kit of mine, and I'm gonna do a little bit of detailed work along my crease line. So I'm gonna wet the brush first with some Fix Plus, dip into the chocolate gold color right here, and then I'm gonna run that all along the base of my crease and curve it all the way up. I'm gonna give myself a winged liner using the e.l.f. liquid eyeliner in jet black. Now I'm gonna pick up that decadent color from the Too Faced palette on a Morphe M408 brush. And I'm gonna use it to smoke out this liner. Moving on to my lower lash line, I'm gonna grab that decadent color on a Morphe M408 brush and I'm gonna smudge that along my lower lash line, stopping about halfway. And I'm actually gonna drag that line downward so that it creates a new inner eye corner. And then I'm gonna grab the Sokoto color from the Saharan palette on a Morphe E19 brush and I'm gonna further smoke out my lower lash line. I'm gonna place the gold dipped color into my new inner eye corner using my Morphe E37 brush. Next I'm gonna place some white eyeliner into my waterline using this NYC white coal eyeliner. For mascara, I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. mascara for my top and bottom lashes. For lashes, I'm gonna go in with the Coco Lashes in the Queen Bee style. I'm then gonna highlight my brow bone using the chocolate gold color on a Morphe E19 brush. All right, my loves, that is the finished look. I really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and please remember to subscribe if you were not subscribed already. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, have an amazing day. Mm -hmm.